So in today's video, we're learning how to make slow cooker beef tacos. The secret to making these tacos is you need boneless natural beef chuck roast, which is gonna turn into shredded beef. We'll also be using the crock pot, obviously, for the slow cooker. What I like to use for the seasoning is very simple. Goya adobo, all seasoning, all purpose seasoning. And then I like to use what they call sazon goya con azafran, which is magic in a bag. You can use beef, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, beef broth. I like to use the chicken broth. A little bit of um, paprika. Obviously your salt and your pepper as well. We'll top it off at the end with some sour cream. We'll also be using cilantro. We'll be experimenting to see if we can make some homemade guacamole with this little pack that we got at the commissary. We'll also be using, we'll be cheating with this burrito bowl self-made rice for the microwave. We'll use some cheddar cheese. And we don't have any corn tortillas, but we're using these flour tortillas, which are some fajita sized ones. So the first step you always want to do is you want to um, basically spray down the crock pot, either with some olive oil. I like to use this Pam grilling. You can, there's so many out there. This is my favorite one because I grill a lot. And just to show you what it looks like, take the lid off. Depending on which one you have, some of them you're allowed to shake and some of them you're not. Just read the instructions. This one you can. And then just a simple spray. Up next, we're going to take the chuck roast and we're going to open it up. I like to use scissors. And you can do it facing it, this way it doesn't spill on you and creates a mess. Just like that. Next up, we're going to use the all-purpose seasoning, the Goya adobo. And just, there's no secret math behind how much you should put, just as much as you usually season your meat with. That one. Obviously the magic in a bag, I'm going to use black pepper. A bit of salt. And some paprika. You don't have to, but I like to spray it one more time with the Pam. Oops. There we go. And then an easy way to turn it is I like to use these grill tongs. And then you're just gonna grab the meat. And we're gonna... Come on, it's a bad boy here. Turn it over, and we're just gonna repeat the same thing we just did. Start it off with the all-purpose adobo, all seasoning. The Goya con azafran. Okay. Black pepper. A little bit of salt. And last but not least, the paprika. Okay. We're gonna spray it one more time. Okay. 
And now, pop the lid. And we're gonna set it on low for about eight hours. And that's really the secret to the shredded. Don't sneak a peek or anything in there. Just let it work its magic. In a couple hours, your kitchen will be smelling really, really good and you're gonna get hungry. Totally forgot the chicken broth. Very simple. I like to use a cup of water. Water, chicken broth, pack, again from Goya. Um, they're not sponsoring the video, by the way. But I love to use these Latino flavors um, because when you're in Germany, they really don't carry these items. So luckily, because I'm on a military post, I can get these at the commissary. Little place to home, even though I'm far away from home. And then all you're gonna do is just pour that. Again, set the lid and set your timer for about eight hours and we'll come pick it up in a few hours. Eight hours later. All right, so welcome back. It's been eight hours and we are ready to shred this beef. Let's do it. So what do we need? We're gonna turn it off and unplug it. Set this to the side. Be careful because it's pretty hot. And the secret formula calls for two forks. So all you gotta do, if this is good to go, and it should be because it's been eight hours, and we've been smelling this all day. It's nice and juicy. It's coming apart very easily. We're just shredding it by pulling away from each other. Just like that. Very effortlessly. All right, so that's good to go. Set tortillas to the side. Guess what? I found some corn tortillas downstairs, so we'll be using some corn tortillas. So let's look in here. We'll be using this one. And I microwaved and prepared some corn tortillas. I always use two just in case one leaks, then the other one helps it. We're just gonna grab a little bit. There's that one. And we'll grab this one. Alrighty. We finished making our guacamole. Very easy to follow the instructions. Microwave the rice, took about two minutes. Okay, we use that as a side. Um, I'm gonna start with the guacamole. Add some tomatoes in there. Onions. Put some over here as well. We got some more onions over here. That's what makes tacos delicious. Just simple things like that. Slicing and dicing. Some onions. Oh, some tomatoes, the cilantro wanted to come along as well. 
we we'll use this one for that one. You can either eat it like that or you can take the petals off from the stem. Tastes better, but for decoration we can go with this one. We'll set it over here. Um, Let's use a little bit of cheddar cheese. Oh, okay. So that one. Cheddar cheese. And look at these beautiful colors. That's the thing about Latina food. We have beautiful colors for fairly, fairly cheap food that everybody can afford. And then we'll top it off with some sour cream and some hot sauce. You know, you can, you can pick your toppings, whatever it is that you're craving. That's the way I make my tacos. Very simple. Okay. Check it a little bit here. We're using Red Hot Originals. Very affordable. Not too hot and not too mild. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, set that to the side and take a look at this beautiful creation. Sure, we let the crock pot do its magic eight hours. We've been smelling it all day and man I'm hungry right now we're gonna land this plane we'll do a quick taste test we hope that you learned a little bit about how to make these easy beef crock pot tacos very simple to do especially on cold days when you can't grill outside and you can treat your whole family to this let's uh Peel these over here so we're not eating the stem. And we'll finish it off. Oh, got a lot on this one. With a taste test, in Spanish we say buen provecho. I guess here in Germany, in most places we say Mahlzeit. Oh goodness. Now that's a taco. Totally forgot the rice. Let's put some rice on there. As our side. This one has, looks like there's like some little beans in there. The taste test for the rice. Again, buen provecho and mild sight. You know, I'm just gonna end it with this. This is the closest to real, authentic Latina food. I guess you can call it Tex-Mex or Mexican if you want. It's really hard to find a restaurant here in Germany that's authentic and it's low price. There's a couple places we were in the city of Amberg the other day. They wanted $5 for a taco. $5? No, 5 euros for a taco. I'm sorry, but that's highway robbery. You can save your money. Do it at home, feed the whole family. I'm gonna have some leftovers for lunch, probably for the rest of the week, at least two or three days. And um, that's how you save your money. All right, guys, um, Jesse Lopez signing out. Share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.